feet. <laughs> well, this is exciting. Uh, 20 minutes ago, I thought we were going to be uh, here with maybe 10 people, and now the, the whole church is nearly full. So great to see you all. Very warm welcome to our Chris Dingle service. Are you excited? Yeah. Good. Well, I know it's not Christmas yet, but will we say Merry Christmas to each other? Merry Christmas. And we'll do just a wave because we can't do hugs and shakes today, but we are really excited for Christmas coming. So it's great to see you here. We've got a short, wriggle-friendly service, so if you're noisy or wriggly, that's fine, uh, and I think we'll have lots of fun. So we're going to begin by singing a song together, which is called Come and Join the Celebration, and it will be up on the screens and you can sing along uh, as loud as you want. Great. Well, let's take a moment. We'll close our eyes and put our hands together and we'll pray to God. God, we thank you that we can come together to celebrate, that we're excited and happy that tomorrow is Christmas, and that Christmas means that Jesus Christ came to us as a, a human being, a baby born in Bethlehem, and that it means that you love us and you came to save us and bring it, us life in all its fullness. And as we celebrate that tonight, we pray that you will be with us through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now I'll need to look at my sneak peek. Right, I'm sure you've seen all sorts of nativities. You'll have done nativities already at school. And maybe you've seen some on the internet. I saw a funny one, which was actually on the news yesterday, of somewhere in Wales where they put a nativity together using dogs. Did you see that? Yeah. Well, might be an ambition for next year, <laughs> uh, but our, our own dog, I'm not sure we'd uh, cooperate very well. Um, but anyway, I came across a different nativity, and it was in gingerbread, and I thought it was really good, so I'm going to show you the nativity story in gingerbread. On that first Christmas, Mary met God's messenger, who brought news of great joy. You're having a baby boy! On that first Christmas, Joseph was in meltdown. All his plans were wrecked. He was feeling super stressed. He was just about to snap. Oh dear! Looks like he has. His wife-to-be is up the duff. 
the child's not his. It's all too much. When word gets out, there'll be such drama. So chopping wood helps him feel calmer. Joseph plans to walk away. What on earth would make him stay? He heads off to hit the hay. And as he sleeps, God speaks. Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby in her is from the Holy Spirit. Good news for a heart that was filled with fear. Good news of Emmanuel. God, come near. She will have a son, and they will name him Emmanuel. This name means God is with us. Joseph got up, and Joseph went on. Together they witnessed the birth of God's son. God's with us. They whispered while holding him tight. He's come into our chaos and into our night. For those now in meltdown whose plans have been wrecked. For all who are feeling tired and stressed. For anyone who's ready to snap and everyone that's in a flap. This is the good news we all need to hear. God is with us right now and right here. This Christmas time, please don't walk away. For God is with us and he came to stay. We can get up and we can go on, held tight by our Saviour, Jesus, God's Son. Emmanuel. His name means God is with us. Well, that was good. Yeah. I wouldn't mind one of those biscuits, actually, but... Um, we're going to listen and sing along, if you know it, to a song called God in a Manger Born. And I didn't know the song until our little new junior choir sang it at the beginning of December. It's really sweet and lovely. Uh, and for the children, if you are um, around or if you live in Bridge of Weir or near Bridge of Weir, we're going to start the junior choir up again in a few weeks' time. Yes, Atticus, we're doing that. Yeah, uh, and it's really nice, and our, our organist stroke choir master uh, directs it, and it's great fun, isn't it? So we can still use more voices, but we're going to listen and sing along to Christ in a manger born. And you can try some if you like that. Child in a manger born.
think it is time to make our cursed dingles. Now, any of you were here last Good, you're all brand new, so <laughs> a few of you <laughs> we're going to do this, and we can have a look in our bags if you haven't already done so. So we're going to need an orange. We're going to start with the orange and the red tape that's on your pews. So be careful with the scissors, but we're going to cut a bit of the tape, or you might want to go around the orange first. And we're going to have a band of red right around the orange. So if you want to stick it first, and then I'll explain what it means. So right round the middle. Well, mine's a bit wonky, but basically it just needs to go, yeah, very wonky, uh, <laughs> round. <laughs> around the middle of the orange, like the equator. Have you got enough light? Yeah? <laughs> Good. Right, so once the tape is on, you take your candle and a little bit of uh, tin foil, pop around the bottom, and uh, the sharp bit poking out, that's going to stop the drips. And then you choose which way you want to poke it in the top or the bottom of the orange, probably the top might be better. And you use the pricker just to poke right in, it should be quite secure. I think we'll do all the craft first and then I'll explain it all because <laughs> we're all kind of focusing on <laughs> practicalities here. So when your candle is in, you can put the, put the orange down in your pew for a moment. And then you have four cocktail sticks, quite sharp, so be careful. And you should have some grapes and some marshmallows. So you can make little kebab sticks, share the sweets or the, the marshmallows and the grapes over the four sticks, whatever way you like, if you haven't already eaten them all. So you're going to use all four sticks. Now, if you've got too much stuff, just eat the grapes. So you might have something like this, or whatever pattern you've chosen. <laughs> when you've done them, the four, you put them in, and if I hadn't made my wonky red uh, thing, basically four all the way round. 
but at an angle so they're not going to get you're not going to get toasted marshmallows on your candle Right. Well, you're putting your finishing touches in. I will talk you through what the Chris Dingle actually means. I read online this actually started in Germany, like most good Christmas traditions seem to have done, uh, like advent calendars and other things. But every element of the Chris Dingle has a meaning. So I wonder if anyone can help me. The glow or the, the orange is round. Does that make us think of anything in the world? Sorry? <coughs> yes, the planet. Excellent. So it is the globe or the world is represented by the orange. Then we've put a red tape around it. And the red tape can mean two different things. Tabitha. Yes, so the blood of Jesus Christ is represented by the red tape. So Jesus not only came to us as a baby, but he turned into a man and he was a great teacher and he healed people and lots of people were really interested to hear what he was saying. But he also died on the cross and the Bible says that was to show how much God loved us. So the red tape represents the blood of Jesus and the love of God wrapping his arms around the world. Now, then, we have four um, prickers with lots of goodies on them. Anyone know what that means? So, the four, how ma the four corners of, well, we don't really have corners of the world, but north, east, south, west, so all directions, all of the earth is represented by those four things, and then all the tasty sweets and and fruits on the prickers is representing all God's blessings, all the good things God gives us every day. Our family, a house to live in, food, school, friends, all the blessings that we are grateful for. So that's all the good things that we have. And finally, we have a candle in the middle. So what might that be? Excellent. Bonus, bonus question. You got it right. Jesus. And we say Jesus is the light of the world. Light makes us happy and makes us feel safe when it's dark. So in a minute, we're going to actually light our candles for real. So if you have long hair, please be careful and sit very still. When, and then we'll do one song with our candles on. So we just have to be really calm and careful and sing nice and quiet so we don't blow it out. Can we do that? Is everyone finished? Have you all made your... I think we are, aren't we? So if you sit nicely in your pew, not too wriggly, then uh, me my lovely assistant Judy are going to light your candles. I think we just need to kind of reach into people so that... Because they're quite... In, New candles, they might take all night. Okay, ready?
so much ventilation. <laughs>
say a prayer. If you want to keep an eye on your candles, that's fine. Candles are used for prayer. God, we thank you for this wonderful celebration. And most of all, we thank you for Jesus, the light of the world, who brings hope to all of us. We pray as we go into our Christmas weekend that you will be with us and lifting the people that are sad because they're missing somebody they loved or missing or with the people that can't be together because of the coronavirus. We thank you for all the blessings you give us, friends, homes, family, food, and we are just so grateful. Would you go with us into the darkness and keep the light in our heart? Amen. Now, very carefully, I'll put the lights back on first, and then we carefully blow our candles out, and we have one more song. If you want to stand for this song, you can have a little jiggle. It's, uh, it was on a starry night. It was on a starry night When the hills were bright Earth lay sleeping up there as well, but I'm sure we've now all picked up a few signs from sign language. So uh, I'm going to send you home with the blessing of God, the creator of the universe, Christ who loves us and is with us, and the Holy Spirit who gives us a joy in our step each day. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Now, because we have quite a few people, so we'll go and leave in sections. So if we can... Uh, ask this section to go first. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> Lovely to we see you all. Oh, good. Yeah, well, we usually sing it as well. I just downloaded the wrong one. <laughs> oh, it's good. Keeps the memory sharp.